I don't know about you, but I never eat enough vegetables. They're just so unappealing. But maybe I'd be more tempted to eat them if they came from outer space. Hey guys, Julia here for DNews. So recently, astronauts aboard the International Space Station chowed down on the first bite of space lettuce. It's technically red lettuce, but they call it outrageous lettuce. Get it? Get it? Oh, it's so bad, it's good. Puns aside, I'm super stoked that NASA astronauts Jell Lindgren and Scott Kelly, along with Japanese astronaut Kimia Yui, caught their dose of leafy greens while orbiting 220 miles above the surface of the Earth. In what's considered an important step to self-sustaining systems, NASA scientists grew the lettuce in microgravity over a period of 35 days. It's not the first batch, though. Other plants have been grown aboard the station. One study published in the journal BMC Plant Biology discussed small white flowers that grew in space to see how well they would grow without a lot of gravity. And just last year, lettuce was grown that was sent back to Earth to be analyzed for safety concerns. Once they got the A-OK, -okay, another round of plants were grown. So how do you grow plants in space? It's a little tricky since plants have evolved stems to fight against gravitational forces, so how would they grow in low and microgravity? Well, pretty well apparently. The ISS uses the Veggie system, developed by Orbital Technologies in Madison, Wisconsin. The system contains lighting and nutrients for a space garden. Yes, space garden. This particular garden contains red, blue, and green LEDs. The red and blue mostly for plant growth and health, the green so the plants don't look weird under the red and blue lights and more resemble lettuce grown here on Earth. The plants get their nutrients from a pillow, and pillows can come in various sizes depending on what kind of veggies are grown in them. Pillows only work once though, but that's by design. That way there's a reduced chance of microbial growth from the system in plants. For plants that might have more microbes, a sanitation method they can do in the space station will have to be developed. Like Scott Kelly and his buddies, for instance, use citric acid-based food safe wipes to clean the lettuce before eating it. Besides providing a source of nutrients that's not freeze-dried, maybe space gardens can offer other benefits too. Dr. Joy Amasa, one of the scientists working on veggies, says there may be a psychological benefit. In extended manned missions with only a half a dozen or so crew, space can be tiring and lonely, but tending to a garden might give the astronauts mood a boost. Some studies, like one published in the journal Hort Science, show that gardening and greenery increases positive mood. Gardening helps people feel more relaxed, pleased, and optimistic. Definitely feelings we might need as we leave our home planet. Growing plants without Earth soil will be crucial to any long-term trip to a planet like Mars. With limited resources and not a lot of chances for restocking, expeditions will have to be self-sustaining. Scott Kelly called this experiment a big step in that direction. But this research could help us here at home too. A lot of the same technology, the LEDs, the pillows, and the watering system could help us farm more efficiently. We could grow food in smaller spaces and with less energy. So cool space beans! And just in case you were wondering, Scott Kelly said the lettuce tasted awesome. Speaking of awesome innovations back here on Earth, Intel creates the breakthrough technologies that make amazing experiences possible. Having Intel inside makes for better experiences outside. Intel drives innovation with products like processors, wearables, and IoT devices, and within data centers, in the PC and beyond. So, would you eat space lettuce? Let us know down in the comments below, and keep coming back here to DNews. We've got new episodes every day of the week.